Back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they step aboard the Blue Wave 2800 Makaira, a hybrid center console boat designed to fish. The Blue Wave 2800 Makaira has an overall length of 27 feet 10 inches, a beam of 9 feet 2 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. Designed to venture offshore in comfort and style, she has a draft of 17 inches, a dead rise of 18 degrees, a dry weight of 3,650 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 135 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, we've been on the Blue Wave Makaira. We know it's a great hull. They've got some fantastic refinements for 2021. You're right, Rick. What I'm excited for today, though, is I've been on this boat. I've got to do some running shots. I've got to play with it at the sandbar. What I have not done yet is have the opportunity to fish on it. And I'm really looking forward to having fun today. Guys, the 2800 has become the most popular boat model for Blue Wave, and we're about to find out why. We've got a beautiful day ahead of us. Let's see what this thing can do. The Blue Wave Boat Company cut their teeth on high quality bay boats. This year, they brought us their flagship, the 2800 Makaira. The Makaira from Blue Wave has really caught on this year as an offshore leaning version of their original 2800 Pure Hybrid design. Beginning with the deck design, the Makaira layout opens up the space under your feet in the bow by removing the forward casting platform and opening up a footpath to the anchor locker that leaves your feet firmly planted on the deck while fishing offshore on a rough day. The design changes that Blue Wave has implemented may seem small at first glance, but when you dig deeper, you'll see they're well thought out and purposeful. At the bow, you have lounge seating with backrest and a removable filler cushion with cup holders. My absolute favorite on this boat was the wide under gunnel storage. Yes, it's a rod locker, but it's way more than that. You can store your rods in there, but we had our rods on the starboard side, and then on the port side, we had our towels, our snacks, personal bags, basically storage for all of us. And to top it off, it was really convenient to get into with it being on top of the gunnel. Another design change which offers additional working space is a new pipework design that tightens up the exterior profile to allow more walkthrough space around the console. Flattening out the tubing and adding three-sided glass enclosure are also new looks for 2021 and will absolutely improve the helm experience for the driver on a windy or rainy day heading offshore. In the console, there was a porta potty and plenty of room for storage. At the helm, you had captain's chairs with flip-up seats that provide you with standing room and two storage compartments, which is great for cell phones. The space across the transom remains wide enough to accommodate a flip-up bench seat across the center, and this seat is flanked on the outboard corners by a pair of 28-gallon live wells, one standard to port and an optional second well to starboard. These wells can both be joined by a larger 50-gallon well located in the rear of the helm station. The cockpit aft on the Makaira is also opened up more for fishing a more traditional outrigger trolling spread where most of your action is taking place behind the boat until you hook up. The Makaira is available with a multitude of engine combinations, both in single or twin power, ranging from 300 horse to 600 horse packages. One thing that has always impressed me about this hull is the efficiency. This model rigged with a single 300 offers 3.63 miles per gallon at cruising speed, which is very economical for boat this size with outboard power. I've personally run various versions of the 2800 hull with power options from top to bottom and can tell you firsthand that a single engine application is plenty of power for this boat. One engine will push this model just fine and save you a few bucks at the pump while you're at it. Now being a 28 footer, don't get me wrong, this boat doesn't mean you're not going to be comfortable working a mangrove shoreline on the trolling motor, but where our true home is, is out in the blue water. I didn't see how Blue Wave was going to move so seamlessly into the world of offshore fishing, but the 28 Makaira showed me they are certainly not just a bay boat builder anymore. All right, guys, I said today I was really excited about fishing on this boat. She proved she can fish. We, we caught fish today, we had fun. It was easy to walk around. She was great offshore. What really surprised me though is I was expecting to be on a more bay style boat. Blue Wave makes a great bay boat. So I had it in my head that that's what we were gonna be on. No, she was set up for offshore today. Yeah, and you know, Blue Wave is a real leader in the bay boat industry, but this, 
this takes them into a different realm and they've really done it seamlessly. I mean, this is a legitimate offshore blue water boat. Bingo, you guys nailed it. Blue Wave has brought us some great boats in the past. And let me tell you, there's something so beautifully efficient about a 28-foot offshore boat that you power with a single motor. They took that same kind of efficiency, spread it throughout the whole boat. She's beautiful, she's efficient. The Blue Wave Makaira is a boat you don't want to miss.